Janice found this doll. What doll? The one in the white dress. She mustn't go near that doll. So I read that you guys like horror movies. Yes. yes. Love, <laughs> really? Um, so does it help you guys think about the supernatural or do you have any kind of thoughts about that? I do. You do? Um, <laughs> because I read all these stories and I watch all these, these TV shows about that kind of thing, about the supernatural wor world and it just, I don't know, there's something about it that I feel like you can't really ignore and um, there's something about it that I feel like it has to be real. I feel like it's bound to be real. There's something out there just besides the living. But it's a priest did a priest did come to set and bless the set. He did. Wow. Yeah. Did it yeah. kind of make you guys feel better about it or more comfortable? Yeah, kind of. I, I yeah. yeah. What? Pretty much. <laughs> well, I didn't I, really I was think about it. I was I was pretty I was pretty scared in the beginning because I um had read the story about the real Annabelle doll. Wow. And so I was like, you know, if it could happen to one doll, it obviously could happen to another. So we better be careful with that. Um, but after that, it kind of took a weight off my shoulders. Yeah. And did you feel anything on the set that kind of felt different? Or were there any funny stories that came about? We definitely had some fun times, like funny stories. But we didn't really have anything that scared us on set, other than the Annabelle doll, yeah. obviously. But well, the set was pretty scary, the too. The set was creepy, Because it was, it was eerie. That, that's yeah. the word. It, it was, was definitely eerie. eerie. Yeah. yeah. And I read that he wanted you to kind of feel more of the scary emotion, not just like have fun and then you watch the movie. Yeah. No, exactly. And so how was that process of getting into that? He let us really stay, I guess, scared, like when we actually wrapped a scene or cut and we waited a few minutes to change the lighting or the camera angle or whatever, he would let us like, either get happy or just take a minute and go off, which is what I like to do because I want to remain in that mindset for a bit because it's hard to get out of character and then just hop right back in. I like to just take a minute and just really like feel it for a while because my character would be. So David's really good about setting the scene, I guess, for that. So you can really have time to just have a minute, I guess. Also, like if they were changing the lighting around or changing the lens on the camera, he would rehearse it with me. He would just go over the steps and the motions again because one thing that he taught me was that actions speak louder than words and that even though the Annabelle doll doesn't move, you can tell that she's trying to tell you something and trying to get you to come over so she can kill you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. So they had her on set, so it kind of created the vibe. Definitely. Yeah, she, she had a presence. For sure. 100%, yeah.